It's kind of go crazy stupid for Melina. Let's fucking go, bitches. Got the blue lights in the back, um, the purple lights in the background for Melina Day because it's Millie Day. There she is, boys. Let's fucking go. The combat cast starts now. Appreciate it, Ava. Hope you're having a good day today. All right. We've done it. We are at the finish line for the Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Streams, and today we are going to be showing off, last but not least, Melina. So let's get going. Let's bring everybody into frame and talk about what we have coming up. Melina arrived, Dina. Hell yeah, dude. One of the community Melina came, Mina. Studios. Holy Stephanie shit. Brombach, Senior QA Analyst. <laughs> Let me reduce this a little bit. And I'm Derek Kurtzik, here to remind you that it is Movember. So let's grow some stashes and raise awareness for male health issues. Yeah. And it's Melina Day! And Woo! it's Melee Day, Day, bitches. We're very excited. Melee Day, uh, bitches. I know, I mean... Let's just talk about the elephant in the room. A lot of people want Melina to come back. Right? Really? Dude? What? Really? Uh, no way, yeah, dude. My Twitter. Uh, my Twitter is. I never knew that. that. I thought Melina wasn't, wasn't like. Melina is here. Before it's not. Started, they weren't even like real that, requests. We're talk about Melina today. We're going to talk a little bit about balance. We're not going to go super in depth. You will read the patch notes when they do come out. We're going to talk about some really, really cool stuff in in the balance world, and then we're going to sign off and just get everybody hyped for the release of Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. So let's real quick. I'll start. Let's we'll fucking talk about go, what bitches. we're excited about. And applies to her gameplay, where she now has a bunch of like really quick slashes and stabbing moves and stuff. Like, <laughs> oh uh, shit! Soy can. Thank you so much, uh, Kanaru. Cool. Thank you so much for subscribing oh, with Prime. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, she's still the fucking the goat. The Let's fucking go, yeah. boys. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at at her. Uh, Let's go. More hype and Pagu's in the chat for Soy. Thank you so much for the subscription with Prime. All right, here we go. So you can hear the, see here the claws. She has a couple moves to use it. This is one of her fast move strings, and it has a couple options. The second one is a crushing blow if she ends the combo with more than eight hits, which is pretty easy to do with the ball roll. Then she also has pretty much the core to her mix-up, is this really quick overhead. It has great range, it's safe, it's fast, it's awesome. She does not have like a really like awesome low safe launcher, so she has to commit or just do a low damage after you get sleep. But I think that totally fits your play style. Is you you have to be the type of player that's willing to just do a low into the ball roll and just do a low and not worry if they're gonna block it. This low here four two has a crushing blow, it's a counter hit, and then she gets a combo, which again goes into kind of a higher risk thing, but good damage if it hits. This is her 4 4, which I wanted to show because I think it's one of her. Oh, wait, like, does that you know, not launch? Really easy to take I think they just pop. They, I think they're in the, the air, but it doesn't show, like. What? She can't because extend the combo. Ah, oh, shit. That's ah, that's disappointing as hell. Seconds without jumping or getting hit, she will uh, fight the Damn. back. And it's very, very gross and nasty. But again, I mean, the moves look cool. Yeah, Lina, so you haven't jumped. Yeah, seconds, damn it. That's a, that's a tall order. Damn it. So I think you deserve damn it, to, damn it. to eat their throat. Ah, Derek will never, for sure. will never get. That, yeah, so she that, does the that, ball roll, but she's not look. able to move forward yeah, and do that, some more moves. Yeah, yeah, so it looks like you do have to use meter to uh, to like extend the, combos. Damn, that's say, disappointing as hell. Is, yeah, on the stream, no we'll get an announcement for variations. Uh, I want to see what that, up, what's all about. At uh, her default special moves. So this okay, is bitches. She's kind of the classic. Move. All right, the side classic size, yes. Really fast. She throws to it once. Eris, thank you so much for following. Or R. Ars Mid, thank you, not Eris. God damn it. Ars <laughs> Mid, thank you for tuning in. Great with Punisher. Punisher stuff that's like he's back on block, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then the tornado. tornado, thank you for tuning in. This has a cool new thing where she can amplify it and she goes in a throw and you can choose which direction to throw her, which. Oh, that's pretty cool. nice. In the corner, then go that's a pretty nice. Uh, you know, that's a pretty nice addition to her telly kick. Out of the corner, if you don't want to deal with that. You, you have a life. That's pretty good. Whatever. Let's take a look real quick then at variation one of Melina. Variation so one, boys. Wait, right, what's the skin? The first thing she can do Wait, does she have a scarlet? It's great. Wait, she have a red? To recover faster Is that scarlet combo. Melina? The what the thing, fuck? She can do teleport. In the air. Yo, we got like this two scarlets awesome. in the fucking game. Picking out jump oh, that's actually Picking a pretty nice skin. Side that's really yeah, nice. One of my favorite projectiles. It's like a scarlet Melina skin, but that looks really nice. 
I hope there's a pink vari- or, uh, excuse me, a purple uh, variant of that. But that's- that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice! I like it! Low side, go under highs. Um, let's take a look at variation two. So variation two, I think, is the opposite. I think it's a rushdown variation. Nice. The first thing is she loses her role. Oh, she, she does a fucking Naruto run. Dash, which I think is the cool. Naruto run is a, that's a cool skin too. She has that con helmet, so which I think is cool. She can go into projectile. Nice. Uh, it has an amplify. That is gonna low profile and literally everything. Amplify. That's gonna low and profile. I think that might low profile Liu Kang's fireball. There's low one. Just cancel it and not do the attack and go for it. Oh my god, that's gonna be fucking annoying. If you got that shit on the ball roll. Or it's probably that and uh, the ball roll. Is it another variation? She throws at the end of her string. I think she gets three of them. You can see her logo gets a new one. And I think this one's definitely the coolest. She gets this grab at the end and it can actually re stand. Oh, that's nice. And then she can get a pretty decent mix up. Oh, it goes, okay, so it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't stun. Lastly, but that's pretty nice. She gains a command grab. This oh, is, that's a fucking command is, grab? <laughs> that's gonna be fucking annoying. How is that not the cruelest thing ever? This has a that's gonna be annoying, this has a bro. For, uh, that shit's a gonna be, like, so fucking annoying. Down. They don't want to do Dude, imagine they getting fucking tick throat to nothing. hell and that's all you fucking see. <laughs> Dude, imagine. I love every time we. Sh oh. oh, one other thing. <laughs> well, most Molinas, <laughs> most Molina players can't input yeah. command yeah. grabs, so be happy with that. <laughs> so that's also really good too. So you don't even need that's to. That's funny. To, uh, we got is that, that was number two, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Let's move on to number three. So number three, I was trying to think of a savage instinct. Pretty much came up with. Nah, I don't like this hair, bro. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Blue Melina, the costume is okay, but I don't like. I I don't like the hair. Nightcrawler, bitch. Nice. I like this move actually. That's really nice. And then lastly, she gets a brand new move, which is pretty interesting. She slides her side across the ground, and she can hold it and decide when she's gonna lift it up. That's pretty nice. And then it'll come back down. So the opponent has to get predator. You know, <laughs> are you gonna let him go really early? And then it has the crushing blow if it interrupts an opponent. So if they think you're gonna delay it, and they try to just attack you out of it, and you didn't delay it, you can go ahead and amplify it. It's gonna hit him right in the noggin. So I know. Oh, nice. If it's a punish, that's pretty good. Oh. And it's a stun, so it so you you be able to extend your combo right there. All right, uh, can we let's go back real quick to the invisibility. It's like the spawn have, ground chain. It can amplify and decide when it to explode. Right? Like, don't, yes. don't you, you do less damage. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yes, and it drains stamina. So there are downsides to nice. using it, but I think it's pretty worth it. Uh, we have we have a couple special things to show with Melina because we know that everyone's really excited to see Melina. It's been a you know, I've been getting tweets all week. About about Melina, so we're also we're going to show a brutality. We're also going to show a right, friendship later too. So you might want to close your eyes. You <laughs> wake up, fatal blow. Yeah, dude, it's going to be fucking wait up, wake up, fatal Melina blow, dude. Brutality. Here's a brutality, boys. Ow! Oh wait, that's oh that's kind of like her. Not ew. Your head will adorn my throne. Nice. And she does the classic pose. That's not that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. The old wind pose. Kind of There's like her MK9 fatality. fatality where she kind of goes in for a kiss and then she like eats your face. I, can't wait for people to see I like that. I like okay, that. That's a really pose. good one. Classic wind pose. That's really oh, good. Yeah, of course. Always bringing it back. Uh, nice. We do want to show something. This was De Derek. Derek was really. Oh, is it a friendship? So we, we brought together today. We're going to show the first friendship we've shown. Oh, we're the show friendship, Melina! Friendship. friendship. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What is it? 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 <gasps> oh, of course, it's the Teddy. Oh, how cute! Tea time. Oh, that is cute. That's cute. 
Oh, that is so adorable. Oh, that is so cute. That is so cute. So much about Yo, hold bears. on a second. That Who reminds me. And hold on, hold on, like hold on, always, hold on. The music for friendships is, I, is just... It kills me every guys, single remember time. remember this? Even when I get meat online, I mean, friends, just me, I'm like, oh, guys, okay, remember my first good. plushie, my first I toy that I ever got as a kid? Not Melina, by the way. It's not a teddy okay. bear, it's a dog. But Lord it reminds fans, me of this. Fans of maybe like Tanya. I can't, I can't wait. You guys are going to have a, a good day when the game comes out. Makes, oh. I like it. Story stuff is awesome. A, l a little, a little lore <laughs> for the. Whatever, I missed that. I probably have to look stuff. back at it. Can you guys tell me what yeah, they were I, saying a about lot of Tanya? Tweeted me, you know, is, oh. is Tanya involved in Melina's story in this game? Oh yeah. Oh, okay, so we're gonna learn more about Tanya and her intros or something uh, like that. Nice. So that's any any last thing cool to talk about Melina excitement. So, but what we, we uh, I guess we're gonna talk about is uh, really some some system changes to start, yeah. which is kind of more. Shit, this is important. Let's about, let's be quiet here. I think Shh. we want to start with like sort of the big thing we kind of teased last week. I am variations, boys. Hundred out of ten excited. What is this? So, <laughs> come on, don't be disappointed, big please. The variation system is we are adding custom variations. Yes. In combat league and in tournament, yes! you will be able to make your own variation and use them. Yes! tournament play. Uh, there will be a UI thing now, which, shout out, our UI yes! fans, they have to be like one of the big unsung Wait, I have to of the video game studio. They are constantly working on new stuff and weird technical things to get into the game. They, I mean, everyone is an unsung hero behind the scenes, but shout outs to them. Uh, well, it's one of those so things you, that where if you don't notice it, it's probably yes. done really well. Yeah, when, UI when you're playing a game, your you game. really think about it. Right. Oh, this so, is. So, and they're always asked to add these new situations and stuff. <sighs> anyway, when you pick your character, a little thing will come okay, up with your variation, and now you can just go into custom, and it's kind of like the abilities screen. So you can go through. Nice. The and same rules which... apply. Uh, that you, you know, if a move conflicts, you can't do it. And uh, the slots. And then the one big thing is there's going to be a few moves that are actually banned from competitive play. There are some moves that I'll use the Fuck. example uh, Terminator's Terminate move. Okay, well that's uh, where we felt that they were probably a little too wild, even for Wild Wild West. They're kind of made for towers, more casual. Play, okay, and sure. we did not feel they were appropriate for competitive play at this time. There are not many. The, that's the vast okay. The majority of moves will be tournament. -based. That's okay. So these. Just a few will not be in there. Just a few. Just a few. That's okay. That's okay. Dude, I have a name for this have... in one of the early combat Sorry, guys. sorry. I'm going to have to lower this a little bit. Dude, I have a perfect variation that I have for Liu Kang that I cannot wait to use. I have it in my customs. I cannot wait to use it. Shh. Now, say a variation two of Melina. Can I get rid of her run and replace that with the ball? Yes. Which I actually nice. think is probably going to be a pretty popular thing. That's what I've been doing is using the base variations as kind of a, a blueprint and then changing out one or two things. Like right. Jade, her, her variation one, I actually the zoning one I actually really like, but I like to remove uh, upward razor ring and put in amplifying the double kick to keep you in the corner. Like a right. lot of, I think that's actually going to be. Very I'm going to tweet it out, by the way. And the default variations will still be there if you just want to quickly use it. Or I think it'd be great if you're new to a character and you're like, there's like 10 moves. What, what is going on? I'm going to tweet, I'm gonna tweet my excitement. Like, oh, well, this is... This. You can kind of get ideas to, for how you'd like to do it. So Combat League, I can make my own variations and go through it right now. Right, once the patch hits. Right. right. Awesome. Uh, so that... I mean, that that's definitely one of the big... When it comes to balance, like that's a big thing. Like we I just tweeted it, it out. In my opinion, this is the biggest potential meta shift we've I'm introduced. So, in I'm World so happy. I have absolutely no idea what's going to go on. I have probably in any, of, in any of our games, I would say. I'm so probably happy. I'm game. literally like probably this is awesome. Not outrageous. Uh, you could pitch me on that for sure. I have <laughs> I... <laughs> We'll talk afterwards. I got a PowerPoint for you. We'll talk about it. Uh so let's. Is there more now stuff? Discuss. Okay. You, you, we were talking Shh. earlier about some system stuff. 
Okay, yes. what's this shit? So we've taken a look at pretty much most of the gameplay systems and made some tweaks that I think are pretty exciting. The first one I'd like to talk about is we have adjusted the hit regions, like per box, nice. for crouching characters. Nice. And this should help with a lot of inconsistencies and moves going over someone when they're crouching, like mids not hitting, stuff like that. And that's this is pretty much across the cast. Nice. The other thing across the cast is we've taken a look at the down pokes, down threes, and down ones. Most characters have had them adjusted. Some have more recovery, some have less. Like Aaron Blacks, for example, now have more recovery on blocks. So you can kind of check him with one of your fast. Yes, you finally. And that's something where when the patch notes come out, you guys can absolutely go. It's gonna be like Christmas. Like I would expect a lot of you to just be sitting there f fiving, waiting for it. Kung Lao well, down there. three nerf. Aaron Black down three nerfed. Get fucked. And we talked about how like a lot of those too, like they, they differentiate between characters. So we're not going to go through, you know, we won. Character, we won. Another thing is hop attacks are now immune to down ones until they are done and are recovering. Thank you. So that's another way that you can beat bow pokes. If someone's spamming them, you're kind of taking a risk. It's not the fastest thing to do. In Thank the world, you. Oh my God. They fixed the game. If you want to make the read. That's a good way you can do it. Another thing that's kind of neat. It's going to improve the pacing of the game. Make it a little bit faster is, Get up animations are now adjusted to be a couple of frames faster. Four, I believe. So when you get knocked down, you'll basically get up faster. You have similar options, but it'll just be quicker. You are on the ground uh, for less amount of time. And that also goes with what we talked about last time, where get up animation, the delayed wake up, is now just one timing there's not short and long it's just kind of a middle ground and there's no nice. animation for it too yes and uh i think one last thing i'd like to talk about is a change to fatal blows two things <gasps> they across the board a lot of them i think have more or sorry less pushback on the block especially like in the corner situations and stuff like that to make them a little bit easier to punish on block and then a the second thing, which is very interesting, it's a new mechanic that some moves, we have expanded the window for a flawless block. You'll actually oh, have six shit. to flawless block a move, and that applies to every fatal blow. So the idea would be, if you know it's coming and you're ready for it, it will be significantly easier to flawless block, and then you get a punish. Nice. And this will also apply to other moves, which... Nice. You can just go straight into that, unless you guys have some thoughts on these changes. Nice. We do have a couple. We have two short videos we want to show to kind of explain. Nice. Okay, I want to see this like, shit. Like two layers. Again, all the characters have some some stuff in their list. We're not going to go through a lot of all of that today, um, but we will show a couple things right now. Uh, who we want to start with? What do I have here? Let's start with Jackie. Jackie. So, Jackie actually has oh. this. Uh, oh. Enhanced flawless block thing with her leap. Wait! If you see that she's leaping, you can flawless block it much easier now. It's. Let me put it this way. You can't oh, shit! Ready for it, but it's easy enough. I can do it. And as we've established, I'm an old, and I am. I haven't been good at games in like five years now, and I can do it. So wait, wait, hold on a second. A really good barometer. They made it easy. Okay, wait. It's not a Jackie nerf. It's simple, like. So that means she can't get her pressure. Now. Of course, if you're sitting there waiting to fall this block, she's going to get her pressure going in other ways. She can dash up. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. So you, have like you, really you have to fall this You have to fall this block. Don't, I'm, I'm not too excited about that it, one. You're really sure she's going to I hope. I hope they... a great option to deal with it. And the second thing we showed there is her dash punch is now punishable on block. It's oh, wait, it is. Never mind. 12, so you can get it her dash bash is punishable on block. We know that video went really Thank quickly. You. So, you know, watch Thank you. I don't have to duck all the freaking time. Let's take a look at Raiden. Raiden, yeah. Okay, Raiden buffs? So, Raiden got some kind of changes. <gasps> this move is now actually an advantage on block, and it ends in an overhead, and it's really quick. So it's really awesome. For nice! Back one pressure. Raiden buffs, let's go, and boys! And move is now safe. You can charge it for just slightly. Oh, that's so the cool! The reason I wanted to show this is that it's an example Dude. of some of the tournament moves yes. that you might want to use in your custom variations are can be quite a bit different oh, to get ready his for forward, the um, custom variation thing. His back four, his like back one four forward is forward now forward safe. Forward. Let's fucking go. Low gun is now significantly slower because previously it was like the fastest projectile ever. 
Another example is Katana's, her dancing fan, where she does the Enchantress dance and fans spin around her. That has had a significant change where there's only one fan instead of three unless she amplifies it. There is just different kind of changes wait, like that with I some think, of the okay, weirder wait. moves in the game that we've looked at. Wait, I may have heard Excellent. that wrong, but wait, did um, they nerf the, the, the fanfare thing? We'll that, I think that may be different. We'll I think that might be different. Ready, probably right before we launch. So, starting on November 24th, uh, there will be a race against time where you can actually earn the ultimate MK3 Molina skin and mask. Fuck! So if you guys are wondering how you're going to get that, it's going to start off in Race Against Time, so you can earn it that way for free. Um, starting the 18th, we're going to have some new crypt events coming live that actually have bigger bundles of rewards that I actually are really excited for. Nani? And then starting December 29th, uh -oh. we are going to start repeating the Combat League seasons. Yeah! So if you weren't able to get in uh, for the Season of Blood because it was X months ago, we're going to bring those back and start those again from the beginning. Yes! We're reordering the skins, so if you couldn't get to Demigod in the previous season, but you really wanted that skin, it'll probably be a lower ranking, so everybody that wasn't able to get them before hopefully can now. And also, the repeats of the seasons will also have new gear and uh, brutalities and other items for you to unlock as well. So, booyah for the people that keep asking, how am I going to get the yes. skins? Yes! Oh, Perfect. I can get so Human Revenant Liu uh, Kang! Sorry, I almost forgot. That was, that was big info. I can get Human well, Revenant Liu Kang, here. finally! Yeah. It's all good. It's on me. It's on me. Uh, awesome. So that's I love really MK11 it. now. Um, MK11 is the best game in the world now. Molina, Rambo, Rain. That's going to be it for today. That's going to be it for uh, the stream. Thank you guys so much. If you guys are watching this is a YouTube video, make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next stream on Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and in the next YouTube video. I will see you guys later.